Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the entire collection of Allen Edmonds Park Avenues and Calfskin. Recognizing us as one of the leading authorities on luxury men's dress shoes worldwide, Allen Edmonds has graciously agreed to give us access to their entire collection of shoes to review for you on this YouTube channel. The reason our reviews are special and different than everyone else's is because of this access to Allen Edmonds' complete catalog, which will allow us to film the most extensive, in-depth collection of dress shoe reviews available anywhere. If you have any questions or comments, please ask them in the comment section below. I try to get back to all questions personally. Allen Edmonds is one of the few remaining great American shoemakers still making their premium leather dress shoes here in the United States. Allen Edmonds makes an excellent Goodyear welted leather dress shoe that if properly polished and resold can last a lifetime. For many of our viewers, Allen Edmonds is their first experience with a high quality Goodyear welted leather dress shoe. In short, an investment in lasting quality that for many has fostered a lifetime appreciation of fine footwear. And there's no better place to start than the Allen Edmonds Park Avenue. This simple capto Oxford is a classic, a staple that belongs in almost every closet. And there's no surprise that the Park Avenue is easily Allen Edmonds' number one selling dress shoe. Another thing about this amazing shoe is that it's available in 18 sizes, nine widths, six colors of calfskin, and three colors of cordovan. And we have all of them here, side by side, to review for you today. Immediately, you can see the classic proportions of the Allen Edmund Park Avenues. A plain capto Oxford, the Park Avenue is the most formal style of business dress shoe one can purchase. Incredibly versatile, they can be worn during the day or evening, casually or formally. The shoe features a soft, round toe in classic proportions. The Park Avenues in Calfskin are exceptional shoes and retail for $425, but can be easily captured for less in one of Allen Edmonds' frequent sales. The Allen Edmonds Park Avenue is a beautiful, elegant, traditional design. It features a three-piece pattern in construction, toe cap, vamp, and back quarters, with elegant single, double, and triple stitching that gives the shoe additional visual detail. The shoe also features a traditional round toe shape for which Allen Edmonds is famous. The Park Avenue is further differentiated as one of only a couple of styles with six eyelets, which beautifully elongates the silhouette of the tongue. The cap toe on the Park Avenue also has a forward balance and slight puff, which has several benefits. For one, it reduces the risk of the vamp flexing into the cap toe due to any sizing or fit issues, which also eliminates the risk of any mirror shine applied to the cap toe from cracking or unsightly creases across the cap. But second, it also elongates the silhouette of the shoe, which is quite elegant. The Allen Edmonds Park Avenue in calfskin is made from a beautiful, full-grain, open-pore calfskin. This basically means that the leather is actual, genuine leather and not some cheap, corrected-grain stuff found on less expensive shoes. The genuine leather used in the Park Avenues is one of the reasons they cost more than many of the less expensive but similar dress shoes out there. What is important about full grain open pore leather is that one, it accepts shoe polish well, allowing it to be easily conditioned and shined, which contributes to the longevity of the shoe. But two, because it accepts polish, full grain open pore leather becomes richer and evolves in color, character, and patina the longer you have it. It's one of the reasons we love shining shoes at Kirby Allison's Hanger Project. Quality footwear, like the Park Avenues from Allen Edmonds, literally gets better and more unique over time. The shoes I have here today are fresh out of the box and haven't been polished. A little bit of our polish without question would light these shoes up and really bring them to life. We recommend polishing all new pairs of shoes exactly for this reason. The Park Avenue also features a 100% genuine leather outsole. This is important because in my opinion, a leather dress shoe is just more elegant with the leather outsole. Rubber soles don't have a place in the office and diminish the elegance of a quality dress shoe. I understand that there are some good exceptions for those who spend a lot of time outside walking in the rain or the snow, but as a general rule of thumb, I strictly prefer my dress shoes with leather outsoles. That said, another great and rather recent feature to the Allen Edmonds website is the opportunity to customize your shoes with day-night rubber outsoles. 
Currently, Allen Edmonds offers four options at a premium of $40. If you're someone that spends time in the rain or the snow, these are great options. And despite being rubber, they can still be easily resold because of the 360 degree Goodyear weld construction. The Park Avenue also has a full leather insole, which when combined with the cork foot bedding, naturally molds to your foot, making the shoe even more comfortable over time. The Park Avenue comes standard with a full rubber top lift, which adds some additional cushion and grip. Allen Edmonds is best known for their full 360 degree Goodyear welted construction, which allows leather dress shoes to be easily resold without compromising the integrity of the upper. The welt is the thin leather strip through which the upper, the inner lining, and the insole are all attached together. The outsole then attaches to the welt. This allows the outsole to be pulled off and replaced without damaging or compromising the construction of the entire rest of the shoe. Goodyear welting also allows a much thicker, longer lasting outsole to be used than with Blake stitching. The shoes are also constructed with a wooden shank which gives support between the heel through the arch to the ball of the foot. The wooden shank offers sufficient support but won't get you stopped by airport metal detectors. Some shoe manufacturers maintain that steel shanks offer more support than wooden ones, but I'd trade it any day to avoid the hassle of having to remove my shoes every time I go through an airport metal detector. The gap between the full leather outsole and the insole of the Allen Edmonds is filled with cork filling and not rubber foam, which adds additional comfort and helps the shoe mold to the foot over time. The Allen Edmonds Park Avenue and Calfskin comes in six finishes, and we have them all here today, side by side to review for you. From left to right, we have the number 2179 Coffee, which is a medium tobacco brown, the number 5615 in black, the number 5609 Oxblood, which is like a burgundy, the number 5956 Walnut, which is a light brown, the number 5679 Midnight Navy, which is a blue and could easily be darkened with a little bit of navy polish, and the number 5610 Dark Chili, which is a medium reddish brown. You cannot go wrong with any of these finishes and you couldn't go wrong owning them all. What I really love about the Park Avenue is the wide range of available stock finishes. Each one of these is a beautiful color and when polished can serve as a great foundation to evolve the patina of the shoe in almost any direction. I really love the variety of browns that Allen Edmonds offers in their stock collection, so let's take a look at just those. I'm gonna remove the black and the navy blue and let's pull these in to take a closer look. So here from left to right, I have the coffee, the oxblood, the walnut, and the dark chili. Now, the walnut is definitely the lightest of the browns and the oxblood is the darkest with very clear notes of red. Beautiful shoes, uh, great for many occasions, but two of the more interesting ones that I wanna compare specifically are the coffee and dark chili because these are both medium browns uh, and really do a great job of illustrating some of the subtle differences that you can see within the brown range. So the coffee is more of a neutral kind of uh, brown, tobacco brown color, whereas the dark chili uh, is a little bit richer, has a little bit more, uh, has a little bit more red in it uh, than the coffee, uh, and it's just an overall richer shoe. And the dark chili being one of Allen Edmonds' uh, newer finishes uh, is just a beautiful, rich brown that offers you know hints of red in it, uh, and is totally different uh, than the coffee. But still, both of these are beautiful browns. The dark chili might be a little bit easier to wear uh, formally during the uh, business day, uh, whereas the coffee is a great kind of a slightly more casual version of the same shoe. Great for the weekends, a pair of jeans. And each of these, when polished, could really evolve in almost any direction. You could use a little bit of mahogany on this and darken this to take it closer to the dark chili. Uh, or you could just go for a medium brown and really keep this as just a nice, even, kind of middle of the range brown. Uh, and then the dark chili, I mean, if you began to even polish this, I think that you would really start seeing some antiquing, you know, as that leather begins to absorb the nutrients from the polish. Uh, but you could also even use a little bit of a dark brown or some mahogany uh, to really kind of begin to burnish and show dimensionality to the patina of this shoe. And so it's just one of the benefits of buying and investing in. And you know, I love brown shoes and honestly, I would have a really hard time, you know, choosing between any of these four browns. I think I could own them all and I could enjoy each and every one of them uh, for their own different finish. 
And you know, one of the beautiful benefits of investing in a, a, a high quality a leather dress shoe that's made with a full grain, open pore leather is that once you begin to polish it, you really begin to individualize that shoe. The patina evolves, uh, you know, the shoe is never gonna have this same finish the moment you touch polish to it. And that's what's beautiful about the quality is seeing that dimensionality and that evolution. These shoes right here, I have to say, are beautiful. And of course, after six and at all formal events, my shoe of preference is the Black Cap to Oxford. Uh, this is the most versatile shoe a man can own. You could wear it almost every day of the week during the day and at night, to weddings and to funerals, and you never would be wrong with the Black Cap to Oxford. Now the navy or midnight blue is certainly a great specialty shoe. Uh, if this were my shoe, it would be a going out at night shoe. I would probably put a heavy amount of black uh, wax polish on this to darken it a little bit more. Uh, but it's a beautiful shoe and uh, it's one of the six finishes here that Allen Edmonds offers. And with a little bit of black polish would create a nice subtle midnight blue patina. And the beauty of Midnight Blue, and the reason it's really become a little bit of a popular finish right now, is that in dark lighting or in low lighting, a Midnight Blue uh, can actually appear blacker than black. So this isn't a shoe that I'd wear on a bright sunny uh, day unless I was looking to get noticed, but uh, with a little bit of black polish and a nice subtle Midnight Blue patina, this would be a beautiful shoe at night. Another great benefit of Allen Edmonds, aside from the quality of their shoes, uh, is their incredible range of available sizes. All of Allen Edmonds shoes can be purchased from sizes 6 to 16 and in 9 different widths. Allen Edmonds generally fit true to size and because of how ubiquitous they are, are often the benchmark for sizing. If you have any questions about sizing, Allen Edmonds has an extensive network of stores where you can try one on, but of course, they can also be purchased online with a customer-friendly 90-day return policy. Because of the Park Avenues are made from full-grain open pore leather, we recommend polishing the leather with a high-quality shoe polish, such as our polish we have on Kirby Allison's Hanger Project. It is important that the leather is fed frequently with polishes that do not contain silicones in order to condition and nourish the leather to prevent it from cracking. And because of the quality of the construction, we recommend resoling the shoes as soon as the outsoles lose the firmness to touch. Do not wait until you have any visible holes on the outsole or worse have worn through the outsole and are beginning to wear into the welt because this can permanently damage the shoe and prevent it from being resold. Again, the benefit of a high quality Goodyear welted dress shoe and a characteristic of quality is that they can be resold, allowing the shoe to yield decades of great use. Here at Kirby Allison's Hanger Project, we often hear from customers that have been tenderly caring for their favorite pair of Allen Edmonds for 15, 20 years. It goes to show that a high quality leather dress shoe such as these can last almost forever if cared for it properly and resold before they wear out. The Allen Edmonds Park Avenue in Calfskin is a truly iconic American-made shoe. There are few shoes as easily identified as an Allen Edmonds Park Avenue, and this in many ways serves as the benchmark for American footwear. Anyone looking to begin a collection of high-quality leather dress shoes need not look any farther than Allen Edmonds with their extensive collection of finishes, models, and sizes, and it's hard to do better for an American-made shoe at this price point. For our complete range of reviews on Allen Edmonds, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so that you can learn whenever we publish new videos. And of course, don't forget to take a look at our extensive range of shoe care tutorials so that you can develop your knowledge and appreciation of caring for a high quality leather dress shoe. If you have an exceptionally beautiful pair of Allen Edmonds Park Avenues, please post the picture of them on Instagram and hashtag us with hashtag Kirby Allison and hashtag Hanger Project. We'd love to see you share your shine. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes.